I want to show you how to install and use Lightomatica in Minecraft 1.16.4. So previously I showed you how to install Fabric and we will need Fabric in this video. So let's get started. So we'll need to go to this website, which is Lightomatica on the Courage Forge website. You can click download since it's updated to 1.16.4 and that's what we need. So we need to download that. But also down here it says we need the Malib library mod. And it provides a link so it's easy. You can click on that comes to this page, we can download it. As you can tell, it's a 1.16.4. So we've got both of the files here. This is Lightmatica and this is the Malib library mod. We need to throw both of these into the mods folder. Once you've done that, go to your fabric installer and create a new profile. So we're in a new world and the first thing you want to do is press the key M on your keyboard, which pops up like so. You want to go to your configuration menu and you want to scroll down and pick what you want to enable. I have these, so I'll go down slowly and talk about which ones I always use and why I use them. So there you are. To find out what each one does, you can just hover over it, it will tell you. Some are true anyways when you first load it up and that's where you have to go through and pick what you want. So I have easy place hold enabled on and all I need to do is press one key, have the blocks in my inventory and hold right click and walk forward and it places it by itself. I know in Schematica we had this printer feature and we could press one button and it will place the blocks normally so we didn't have to press any keys. All we need to do is walk forward. To paste an entire schematic in, you need this active, true. It needs to be on. And when you keybind it later, I'll show you what you need to do to keybind it to make this work. I pick block enable, which means once it's there in front of you, none of the blocks are actually there, but you can actually pick the block to find out which one it is, but it also has a little overlay at the very top here that tells you what it is. We're on hotkeys now. Easy place toggle is on P. We don't need to activate anything. The execute operation, that's what we just talked about. We need to keybind that to paste in a schematic, which I'll show you soon. Once the schematic is in, you can change its mode to do one layer at a time, see it all or see it below or all together. And that's what layer mode next is. You keybind that and it will work, and I'll show you that in just a moment. So all we need to do is hold M, page up, and there you are, it changes layers, single layer. We take our finger off M and use page up and down. It selects which layer you wanna do next. I'll show you a example with a schematic. So you most likely wouldn't have any files at all. So you can go to any website to get a schematic file, like Matica file, and I'll show you later on how to make a file. So there's one of them, you can download it from any website, all you need to do is Google it and you drag this straight into your schematics folder and that's finished, that's it. So once you go back into the game, you can actually do it. So we have got this Lightmatic file in. So to do that, we click load schematics and there's the autumn tree here, load schematic. We have a stick because that's the tool that's default to Lightmatica to move things around. Like so we can move it wherever we want. And the, the thing I just did there is I press control, held it in and used the scroll wheel to change the modes of the stick. So we can move it anywhere we want. We can actually make an area, copy and paste that into another world if we really wanted to, but yeah. To change the, the item you want, you go to the configuration menu, go to generic, scroll all the way down, and here where it says Minecraft stick, we can change that, but you have to use the same ID, what's in Minecraft, so let me get a piece of crimson stem. At the very bottom there, it says Minecraft crimson stem underscore stem. We just add that into the generic file, and that's sorted. So using the M um, page up, we can change the mode, take your finger off M and we could do each single layer. And if I get some blocks in my inventory, oh, I just nearly died. We can press P for easy place toggle on and basically just right click and you can place it around. You don't really need to be looking and couple blocks up. 
there's no chance we can paste that into the world. But we can because of the easy players. So that, that's easy players one on one. And to paste it in, we get our stick, go to paste schematic and world and use the key bind, which is a bracket. And there you are, it's pasted into the world. Very easy and very simple. So now we've got this blue outline and we just don't want that. So a quick and easy way to get rid of it is click M again, schematic placements, and we can just remove that and it removes the outline of the schematic. So if you ever want to rotate the schematic, all you need to do is click M, go to your menu, go to schematic placements and configure. On the right hand side of your screen, you have placement origin. And you can change this to 10 blocks off the ground, anything really. So it's very simple. And to rotate, it rotations right here. So we can just keep clicking this. And to see what you need to build it with, this material list here. And once you've got a chest downwards, you can click ignore until you've got every single block you want, really. Right now, I'm going to show you how to actually save a schematic file. So there we are, we have an autumn tree. And now we need to make a box. So to do that, you hold M and then S and it comes up with the selection manager. We can make a new selection and call it O tree. There we are, and click OK. And you get this little box here. And we need to make this put on area selection. We can punch it over here and we can punch it over here. So it makes it square right now. And if you wanted, you can place a block up here and you can either right click here and left click over here to make the actual box, but it's pretty simple this way. All you need to do is hold Alt and use your scroll wheel like so. So you do not need to place a block up here and you get something like this. Now, once we go back into our menu, configuration menu, hotkeys, and we should find something that says G and H. Yeah, here. So save area as in memory schematic. So that's in game. And to save it in your file, your schematic file, you press G. So make sure these two, if you really wanted to, make sure these are key binded. And what you're doing is come in this world, press G. You can save it and it says at the top and H. There we are, it's in game. And what this does is allows you to do what we've just did. So once we come over here, we can load a schematic, A3, load schematic, and there it is. And we can use the, the uh, schematic placement key over here and we can do that. So we can just place loads of these basically. So if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. If you've got any questions, leave them down below in the comments and subscribe for more tutorials and mods in the future.